Hi, this is Dr. Deborah Durr, and I'm here to tell you about United and Light and how it came to be. It began with this horse right here. This is Night of Dreams. And he was rescued from slaughter in Central California. He had such a severe back problem, and being a chiropractor, I took him under my care and rehabilitated him. And it was through his care, special needs, that I discovered more about draft horses. Learning about the trials and tribulations, about the PMU mares and foals, and that you really don't see draft horses, older draft horses out in pasture. Where did they all go? <laughs> And I moved, sold most of my practice, moved to Arizona. And that's where the dream began. I started the nonprofit. The dream to create a sanctuary for retired draft horses from abuse or an untimely death. This is Santana. Santana wins came from us from a feedlot in Arizona. He was 30 plus years old. In fact, the gentleman didn't even want to give him to us because they didn't think he had much life in him. He ended up staying with us for two years and healed greatly and touched many lives. We had received some more calls from a feedlot in Arizona and rescued two more from there. And also Moonshadow was a phone call a distressed person called us. Uh, Moonshadow was found in a standing room only stall within a barn for over a decade, never seeing the light of day. No human or animal contact. And we're happy to say that over the past two years, he's rehabbed so much that he enjoys humans <laughs> and other horses. That's a big thing here at the sanctuary, is the education. The education on the special needs of draft horses. They're not like your typical horse. Everything is in excess, you could say. <laughs> the other things that we do is we have workshops here for the healing horse and human contact. We usually have people that can come from all over with either bad situations with horses in the past or have never encountered a horse and these gentle giants are just such an amazing way to heal and to start with that bond that's a big part of United and Light is the care that we give these older guys a lot of times being rescued we don't know what their history is, and it's through time that we find about their old injuries and rehabilitating them to a state that they're able to be with other horses and to enjoy that contact with the humans. They really do. They really do love being with people. And obviously, you can tell people love being with them. We were blessed to have an ad placed in Cowboys and Indians. And in October of 2007, Cowboys and Indians will be having a story written on us. And Farm and Ranch in July of 2007 will be placing a story. We moved to Montana. The journey continues. A lot of people ask why. <laughs> why Montana? We moved to Livingston, Montana. We like the place of Livingston the surrounding areas and the green pastures with these horses they eat a lot it just was more economical for irrigated pastures and we really want to give these guys the best of care we want them to live out the last years in luxury so the cooler weather is a plus with these guys they really enjoyed it Arizona was a little too hot for them so they are loving the green grass and sleeping most of the days. <laughs> this is Willow. Willow's a seven-year-old white Percheron, and we were we found her. She was lame and not able to ride or anything. 
and so we took her in. Much to our surprise, when she came off the truck, she was jumping, <laughs> jumping fences, cantering, <laughs> rolling in the mud. She was very happy to be here, so we just had to sit back and say, you know, it's amazing what these horses will do to come here, to be here at United and Light. We are currently the only nonprofit that retires draft horse breeds. We get calls and emails, connections from all over the world of horses that are in need, more draft horses that are in need of a home. Most of them need a great deal of rehabilitation. Most of them have been in such bad conditions that they are probably not rideable. So where do they go? We want to change that. We want to be a facility that can either be a hub to rehab them and get them back into loving homes or to, if they're too far gone for that, to allow them to rest their old tired bods here in pasture with other draft horses in peace. Thank you so much for your interest in United and Light. And we do hope that this has touched you in, in a way that you will become a part of our support family for United and Light. Thank you so much. Many blessings to you and a great amount of love and light.